biceps. So now we've got a lot of, we've been doing a lot of videos over triceps. We've done a quite a bit of videos over the past over shoulders, but people have been asking me, what about biceps? For whatever reason, I just can't feel my biceps, okay? So I'm gonna show you a tactic that we do here to make sure you feel your biceps. So really, you can just probably start developing the biceps that you want. So all you're gonna need is a couple of dumbbells. You can even use a barbell and an incline bench. All right, so when a lot of people are talking about, let me see if I can't get this lighting right on this one. When a lot of people are saying, hey, I, when a lot of people are talking about they can't feel the biceps, the majority of the time is when you're doing curls or anything of that nature, you're probably doing a very short rep. You're probably standing up or sitting down and your reps are very short. The problem is, is when you do a short rep for biceps, you're, really not, you're not missing a lot of muscle. You're not gonna build the muscles that you want. So let me show you, here's a quick fix that we do. So what you can do is I'm going to demonstrate with a pair of just a, with just one dumbbell for right now. You can do what we call incline dumbbell curls, but you're actually going to face down on this one. You're not going to face on your back. So you do this one. You may have seen people do this before. It seems pretty simple. It's just a basic curl. But here's the tip that I'm going to give you that I want you to do so you really start feeling your biceps. Don't tuck the arm into the back. Don't tuck that arm in because you notice that range of motion is very short. What you want to do is take that arm and let it drift away. You notice how much further that range of motion, how much further the arm is. Then do a bicep pull this way. Now when you have the arm drift away, and you're doing the bicep pull this way, what you're gonna notice is one, you're really gonna feel your biceps doing a whole lot of work. You're not gonna feel that back and shoulders really trying to engage. And two, it feels like a long, longer range of motion. All of a sudden that rep becomes almost, it feels like twice as long as it should be. So grabbing both up here for demonstration purposes, let your arms drift down, bring your arms open, Pull up, hold for a count, and then lower down for three. Hold for a count, lower down for three. And I want you to do this for not reps, because that's too easy. You gotta go for time. I want 60 seconds. Continuous work. Holding for a count, lowering down for three, with your arms drifting away. Not tucked in this way. You can see how that range of motion got very short with your arms drifting away. And if you do that, I can assure you, one, you're gonna notice that you're gonna have to reduce the weight. It's just gonna happen, all right? You're probably gonna have to go down a lot less. Especially men that you know are really concerned about bicep strength, it will go down less. But hey, this is a building exercise, not a strength exercise. That's number one. So you're gonna have to reduce the weight. And I guarantee, typically about 30 seconds into it, you're gonna feel your arms. And at that point in time, it's more along the lines of how long can you hang on before your biceps say no and they've had enough. That's what I want you to do. Do that drift away concept, let those arms drift away, curl up and lower down slow. Do that, not for reps, but for time. And see if you can do that for anywhere from about two sets to start out with, up to five sets if you're pretty advanced, and do that for anywhere from about 45 to 60 seconds. Two to five sets or two to five rounds. Give that a shot and see how you feel. And guys, I'm trying to, if you see me with my camel, there we go, now we got some better lighting. Do that and see how you feel. And I can pretty much guarantee you will start feeling those arms in ways you never felt before. And don't be surprised if next day your bicep's so sore, you may not be able to eat. Which, some people, that may not be a bad thing. So guys, again, this is Travis Merritt with the Relic Transformation Center. If you got any questions about that exercise right there, hey, let me know. But in the meantime, everyone, take care, have amazing meals, even better workouts. And I look forward to chatting with all of you soon.